I am out of breath. <laughs> I literally just walked from downstairs to here and I'm out of breath. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Blit oblig obligatory, obligatory sip of tea. Obliged. That's how you say it, yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. My name is Becca, for those of you who are new and welcome back for those of you who are not new. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about gratitude and the importance of being grateful every single day. This time last year, if you sat me down and told me that I needed to be grateful every single day, I'd probably think you were insane. <laughs> this time last year, I was in a very different place to where I am now and probably the thought of being grateful every day will have filled me with some sort of dread. I was in a very negative mindset and I almost liked that. I think what can happen, and I'm not saying this happens to everybody or that I'm trying to belittle mental health, mental health is serious, but I do think sometimes we get used to feeling a certain way. We get used to feeling down, we get used to feeling as though we are the victims in our own lives. Once we break that habit, I think it becomes a lot easier to improve our lives and improve our mindset. So like I say, if somebody had tried to talk to me about gratitude this time last year, I probably would have just completely dismissed them and told them where to go. Probably in the last nine, 10 months or so, I have noticed a shift in how I look at the world. I no longer want to be a victim because there's nothing that is victimizing me at the moment. I do have control over things I can change and I don't have control over the things I can't change. I can't change my past. I can't change when my skin breaks out or I can't change the cost of living crisis, unfortunately. But I can change how I think about things and how I reframe them for myself. And this is where gratitude has come into play. Being grateful might seem like an easy practice, but actually it took me a long time to get into the habit of it. And it's really important to stick to it if you want to get to the point of actually being grateful. When you first start a gratitude practice, be that writing down something you're grateful for every day or just making the conscious effort to be grateful in the day, you are doing that very consciously. You are waking up with the intention to find gratitude within your day. The thing is, what starts to happen as you do this regularly is it becomes second nature. Instead of waking up with the intention of being grateful, you wake up grateful. And that shift makes a massive difference to your life. Trust me, it did for me. I know sometimes having somebody tell you about gratitude can be a bit patronizing. Like, oh, just, just be grateful. Why can't you be grateful? It's easy, it will change your life. I'm not trying to tell you that. There is a lot of aspects people sometimes need to change or address before they can truly completely change their lives. But I do believe things take baby steps and gratitude is a really great place to start, especially if you're feeling a little bit hopeless or a little bit like things aren't going your way. According to research, there are two types of mindsets, the limiting mindset and the growth mindset. They're both pretty self-explanatory. The limiting mindset is where you feel your limits and you put barriers in your own way. So if you're trying to be more grateful or happy, instead of looking for the gratitude or the joy in your life, you look for the barriers. So instead of being grateful for the fact you got paid this month, you see all the negatives of how many bills you've got to pay. Bills are probably a bit of a wobbly example at the moment, especially in the cost of living crisis. And trust me, I feel it too, I really, really do. The limiting mindset can be detrimental to everything in our lives, not just being grateful and being happier. For instance, if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight, if you're trying to get better at a sport, if you have a limiting mindset, you are never gonna do those things because your brain constantly puts barriers in front of you. However, if you lean into the growth mindset, you know that you're not gonna be perfect right away. Things aren't gonna be easy on that weight journey, whether that's to lose it or to gain it. And you're not gonna be great at that sport right away because you've only just started. The growth mindset is so important because it allows for growth. They're both pretty self-explanatory. That being said, the limiting mindset is helpful too. 
Sometimes we need to know our limits and knowing what our limits are are helpful. So in some areas of our lives, having the limiting mindset is a great place to be. But in other areas, like finding gratitude, the growth mindset is the best place to be. When I started looking for gratitude in my life, I found it a struggle and I found a pattern to start with. I was pointing out physical and material things that I had that I was grateful for. So I was grateful for having access to the internet or having a Netflix subscription. I was grateful for things that I could either watch or listen to or have or hold in my hands. But actually as my gratitude practice has changed, I've realised I'm grateful for a much broader spectrum of things. I'm grateful for the love in my life and I'm grateful for the experiences I have. Sometimes it takes you sitting down and writing down the things you're grateful for, for you to actually properly think about what you're grateful for. Now every morning I sit and I write in my journal one thing that I'm grateful for in the morning right away. I go to bed with my journal right next to me so that in the morning that can be the first thing I do. And it's so helpful to start my day in a way where I feel optimistic for the day ahead. I'm not saying you have to do this, you don't have to sit and recite things you're grateful for, but I do think waking up and starting the day with the intention of being grateful helps and it starts to snowball that effect of just being grateful generally. I've noticed in the past six or seven months that I try and put a positive spin on things now where I never used to do that. Since practicing gratitude, I have definitely seen a shift in my positive thinking and a shift in my own personal mental well-being and the ability to self-soothe. Self? Self-soothe. Self it's really hard to say. I think if we all take a moment to practice gratitude in our days, it can really improve the situation we're in, even if it doesn't improve the situation we're in. Sometimes changing our mindset can help everything. Sometimes it can't. But if it makes you that bit happier and more able to deal with the situation around you, then it can only be a good thing. If we start with our own internal battles and we start with how we're feeling and our mindset, we can start to improve the things that are going on around us too. Some things we cannot control and that is just life, unfortunately. Things will come up and things will affect us that we have no ability or no control over. And unfortunately, we can't change that. Nothing we do will change that. But if we change our mindset and our approach to life and how we feel about life, it can help us navigate and experience some of those things differently. Gratitude cannot take away grief. It can't take away heartbreak. It can't take away the past and it can't change the future, but it can help you to see and seek out opportunities. You do have the power of your own mindset and that is a really brilliant thing to feel. I'm grateful for my gratitude practice and I'm grateful that I have applied gratitude to my life because I think it has made a massive difference. I'm unrecognisable to the person I was last year, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, ten years ago, and I'm grateful for that. And the fact I can say that sentence now is down to a gratitude practice. Let me know if you apply gratitude in your life and how it's helped you. Let me know down in the comments what other things have helped you and what other things you might want me to talk about in another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. If you like the video, please do like it and subscribe. We are a lovely little community here and we talk about all sorts of random stuff, life related from mental health to sustainability to waffling on about, I don't know, other things. But I'm really glad you came. Thank you so much. Welcome. And I hope you're all well. Lots of love and I will see you in the next one. Again, welcome to the post credit scenes. Not that I have credits, but I always waffle at the end of my videos. And if you get this far, cheers. You always see probably this mug and this mug. And I love that, that made me laugh. <laughs> Have a good one, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!